Hi everyone, and welcome back to another draft video. The We're still doing Shadows over Innistrad, but we have gotten a new week of uh, bonus sheet. So Morbid and Macabre, expecting lots of well, clearly Morbid cards, which care about when if creatures died that turn, but also just probably more death triggers. So we'll jump in, see what we find. Doing best of one again just because, you know what, sometimes I do like seeing the rank thing go up. And now I'm sad that there's not best of three ranked. It's just inexcusable. This game's, this client has existed for five years and they can't add best of three ranked. Billion dollar company, billion dollar brand. Thank you. Jeez. All right. So, bonus sheet card is Seance. Um, seems bad. It only comes back. It comes back for your turn, but it doesn't have haste. Weird. I like Selfless Spirit. Um other notable cards not really all that much i mean uncaged fury is a good trick and it wins games sometimes but i think selfless spirits the pick here don't think seance is good spell queller however is quite good um over young wolf oh undying is back yeah i'm gonna take spell queller here it's hard to complain about that an on color ish, I mean, we'll make it work. Also, feels good to take two rares back to back. So, what would we, what is blue white possibly getting on this bonus sheet? Blue white didn't get a lot of morbid cards. There's another green one. Let's see, but we're, we've got a. Illuminator, best card for us, unless we want to be crazy, but I think I'll take the Illuminator here. This is just gain five. Yeah, so you can tell which cards are from like original, like the older sets because the power level definitely feels way different. Ah, Sack Outlet, that's nice. But we've got an Apothecary Geist over Cathar and Sigardian Priest. Fine. Right now we are mono spirits. Which we'll take. Look how dapper he is. Why would you follow the the Geist's lantern? It seems like a very, very poor advice. Where are they? Oh, look at that. They're all the way across the table. What a surprise. Drafting so hard. It's so hard. There's so many. There's up to 15 cards to read in every pack. Like, how do you even read that fast? It just, whoa, whoa. How do you even? I will say I'm surprised that they uh, thought the cycle was going to rotate tomorrow, not today. So I guess I'm glad that they did that. Hello, Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Uh, no flashback sheet here, so we could take Scob or we could take Cathar. We have been seeing like this is this is decent green coming late, but nah, I think that's Cathar. 
uh, bound or puncturing light or attack. Oh no, drag under. Easy. I think drag under is going to be better for us than bound um, because the spirits deck tends to be a little bit more um, like tempo based than the humans deck. Now, the humans deck can make pretty good use of bound. Spirits are going to make better use of drag under. Here we will take the priest too. Um, I think it's going to be better than the fiend binder. It misses a lot, unfortunately, in this format, but uh, it, it hits a fair amount, too. There's a Blessed Alliance over Steadfast Cathar. Could also... Our white isn't great, and Shreds of Sanity can be very good in blue, blue-red. I'm going to take the Shreds. I think we'll see it leaves us open if we start seeing like a bunch of take inventories or red burn in pack two essence flux we'll take that yeah see nobody wants seance seance is bad <laughs> you have to just have a lot of like etb triggers to make that even like worth considering and the only one we have like spell caller doesn't really do anything because they would get it back also you can't use it to actually yeah, you never get to apothecary guys mainly almost gains us three life if you do cathar you lose the ability to eat it from the graveyard yeah I guess it's not terrible with selfless spirits. There's a take inventory. Sure. That's a late one. We'll take it. I mean, again, we don't necessarily have to be spirits. But if we're not spirits, we're in kind of a bad way. Um, we'd have to lose a, a fair amount of our white. And we've gotten in trouble before for not sticking to a plan in this format so may have to buckle that down maybe Riven will be good luck memories over well fog walkers a spirit I don't love that I think we can do better than a fog walker here we'll take the priest. Stab. Puncturing light. Okay, well that keeps us in white. So she gets a human or an angel back. So there's also an incendiary flow. Griff spoon. We don't have enough humans, I don't think, for Courageous Outrider to be any good. And really, Bruna is getting back a Dauntless Cathar or a Priest, so she's not super good, but so does a massive flyer with Vigilance. Confirmed Suspicions is quite good. Passing another incendiary flow and a spontaneous mutation. Confirmed suspicions is better in the spells deck, but because if we take incendiary flow, it kind of means we're not looking to play either blue or white. So Doom Traveler and Guardian. That's actually really tough. I'm gonna take the flow. We'll just try and stay open. There's a take inventory. There's a shepherd. And I don't think missing a five mana counter spell is going to be make or break point. I think the flow is a higher upside pick there. 
Um, another Haunter over a Make Mischief or a Shield Mate. Yeah, again, a lot of green. Green seems to be open, but I haven't seen anything that's like good green. Prophet, Haunter, Chasm, Skinner. Oh, Traveler. Is Traveler good? I mean, yes, but. So another target for Bruna. Something to do early. the traveler it's not it's not quite thraben inspector good of one drops but it's it buys you a fair amount of time ingenious scob looking pretty bad unless we really up our take inventory count occultist there's another drag under also a drown yard explorers take the drag under Scrutiny or Fiend Binder. See, Fiend Binder is a human that I don't mind getting back with Bruna. Yeah, we'll take him now. And really, there's not. We haven't seen any of the blue spirit payoffs, so the only reason to load on spirits is Apothecary Geist right now and Essence Flux, but I mean, Essence Flux is pretty good on most of our creatures anyway, just to dodge a removal spell. It's just a big scary guy, huh? Um, he's let me down in the past. Take the Cathar. All right. Um, I think the Cathar is better than the Stormrider Spirit. He has not been good with the Spirit. So we're really looking for the blue Spirit payoffs now. To get like, um, not Rattle Chains, what's the, the uncommon one? Neville Gast Herald is the blue one. That when a Spirit ETBs, um, you can tap or untap stuff. That would be really good for us. Stitcher's Apprentice over Wild. Field. I guess we take that. We don't really have any morbid to trigger. Um, how many humans do we have? Seven? Okay. It does give vigilance even if it's not equipped to a human, so they could make our spirits pretty good. Oh, it is a thing. Ooh. Um, those are both pretty good. Take the explorers. Yeah, we're not playing that. Hello, Thalia's Lancers. This goes and gets Bruna. Okay. In for that. Passing a Galvanic Bombardment. I don't think we're switching to red now. No, this is quite good. This goes and gets Bruna. Um... Those are Lone Riders over our second Tattered Haunter. Take that. So let's see. Let's drop the take inventory now. And hmm. maybe one of the Cathar. Daring Sleuth is good. The Alchemist Greeting. Mysteries is super duper good. Um, we're not trying to splash black for anything. Let's take the two drop or the three drop. We don't have all that. We don't have any uh, investigate. Take the three drop then. Imprisoned, Puncturing Light, Falcon Wrath Noble. Noble's quite good. I 
don't think Imprison is right in this sort of deck. Outrider, Bound by Moon Silver. There's a second take inventory or an, a mantle. We're at 11 humans. I think I'd like the first, the first bound. Yeah, we have tons of creatures. We'll take the first bound. There's a pour over the pages. Definitely not as good in this in this build um we just take another flyer and try to be pretty aggressive yeah let's do that hey over a second doomed traveler yeah we'll just take easier land is always good um Borrowed Grace might have a place in this sort of thing. Oh, I thought that this guy was this guy. Uh, take the lake. Another Senzer, another Haunter, <laughs> a Scob. don't think we're playing any of these. I guess I'll finish my place out of that. <laughs> Same. Same. So we actually have cuts. We've got what could be a very obnoxious, very, very obnoxious spirit, or uh, just kind of like white blue flyers deck. And cut like the explorers. How do we, do we have ways to gain three or more life? We have Apothecary Geist. We have True Faith Sensor on Lone Rider. And that's it. Let's see here. Sorry. There we go. So we've got one puncturing light, one bound, two drags, a true faith sensor, and an essence flux with nine spirits and nine humans. Definitely split down the middle on that. Um, okay, so we can drop you. We're not investigating anywhere. Yeah, so we'll drop him. Okay. So that was minus one spirit. But I think Essence Flux has enough utility that we cannot play it for full value every time. I feel like I want to drop one of these guys. Yeah. Okay. 17 lands? Hmm. Probably. Probably. So we're, what are not plays? We're not playing a Puncturing Light. We're not playing a Borrowed Grace. I wonder if Borrowed Grace is correct. Not playing Scob, I think that's fine. That's fine. Do we play the Borrowed Grace? And if so, what do we cut? Borrowed Grace does add another way for Lone Rider 
to uh, flip as well. We go to eight and eight if I cut this haunter. I think it's a Cathar. Put the Barrow Grace in. We still have 16 creatures, which is pretty high. And who knows, maybe we'll get some bronze luck. Bronze Q luck. Looks like a keepable hand. Let's see. Oh, go back to there. Cool. Um, I mean, yes. We're on the play. We got stuff to do. <laughs> it's kind of like a mulligan, but you know, that's a much better thing to draw. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't change the lands out. I didn't change the lands out. Are they gonna dead weight my tattered haunter? They sure are. Okay. My boy! My boy! Okay. Alright, we get to attack into that. They are some sort of madness thing. We just have to have another spirit, so that gives us our spirit count. Go like this. We will attack. Bop. And then we will play another guy. If we draw a land next turn, we can tap down to go aggro and then play Geist. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Biting Rain murders us. Be very careful about that. It's a biting rain. So let's leave that back in case they flash something in. It's only one point of damage. Oh, they have a fiery temper. Sure. Okay. Yeah, this keeps the crow from hitting us. Oh, funnily enough, we have the two rares, so Thalia's Lancers does not go and get Bruna now. Okay. If they want to trade the Crow for the Pilgrim, that's fine. Yep, that's why we have Sigardian Priest. So they get to eat the pilgrims. Thankfully, it actually doesn't flip Avacyn either. And we might be able to race her. We'll see. Because we can tap her down. No blocks. Oh, interesting. So now we actually... We want to play spells... So that when Avacyn flips, she kills the mob. Okay. Plus, Thalia's Lancers doesn't die to the... Doesn't die to the Avacyn wipe. The Guardian Priest does, which is unfortunate. But I think... Yeah. If we get to Bruna, she will block Avacyn once she flips. Oh, did we just lose? Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Okay. No attacks. End turn. 
Yeah, so we need to get one of their creatures dead this turn. And it'll wipe their entire board and leave us with a Lancer. This is a bad attack opponent, I think. Yeah, reading the card. Oh, doesn't this hit me too, though? It does. It hits me, so we have to be very careful. They need to... They should absolutely send everything. Oh, okay. They have another fiery temper. What are they doing? Wait. Oh, a non angel. Got it. That sucks. Wow, that was uh, pretty good for them, huh? They get Exaxes. And we can't kill Avacyn. Wow. But they don't get Exaxes, like, but they get to... Huh. <sighs> yep. So if we had gotten... If we had hit our land, we would have been able to go Bruna and block... That feels bad. Oh well. I... Hmm. Non-angel, huh? Reading the card. Reading the card. Uh, yes. I hate that it hangs here because I would just as soon not tell them any information, but there's no sense declining because they already know because it hung up there. Like, it's stupid. Arena's bad. Oh, here comes a dead weight. Oh, Bloodseeker. Okay. So unfortunately we don't have a way to deal with the Cathar, or the uh, Bloodseeker. We just have to be able to block it, and I mean, that's not why it's there. <laughs> it's not there to attack. Discard, Madness, Fiery Temper. No? Okay. There's no universe where I don't block. Sure. Still block that. Especially if they're stuck on lands like they might be. Yeah. Blocks. Sure. We would like something that can block that properly, though. Okay, that's not bad. Because um, that lets us do this. And get the... Actually, get the sensor online. Okay. 
God, I'm so glad that I get to listen to like that garbage in the background all day long. Oh, they're doing it pre-combat, okay. You wanna trade? See, I had this once and I feel like it never did anything. Like they have so much land in their hand, their only way, like their only way around it is to pitch everything to the Bloodseeker. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. That's good for us. That's actually really good. But I think I would rather do this. Because now we get to attack, keeping the spirit back. Hit them for four. Play a Tattered Haunter. So, I mean, they could dump their whole hand and get the Blood Hall Priest online, but I just don't know if that's... Um, yeah, I mean, if they want to kill the spirit, that's fine. We're going to gain some... They had another thing. Wowzers. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good. Now we are losing. Now we are losing. That helps, actually. Don't think we're blocking. We'll see. What we don't want them to do is discard down to get Blood Hall Priest online, because then he can shoot Lone Rider. Okay, so they're going to pump up the Aristocrat. No blocks. You can do your thing. I don't care. So they're going to sack the Sanitarium Skeleton. Gain two. Is this thing a human on the backside? It is not. Oh, shame. But that's that's a good draw, actually. That's one step closer. So now. We can. Attack, attack. And flip. And that's a lot harder for you to block. So they can eat the skeleton, go to three. Oh, it's on all of them. Okay. They're still dead in the air. So they need to be able to kill a lot of our power. I guess they're not dead in the air because they'll gain they'll gain the life off the aristocrat. So we take six. Uh, oof. They can actually do, they can make the Bloodseeker quite large. So he's probably a must block.
going all in. Okay. So now we do this and so they'd have to sacrifice another creature. So it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. We have to block it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Land off the top. Bruna helps a whole bunch. Any creature that can block. Land off the top. Um, I mean, let's take that. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. Game. <laughs> okay. They need to be able to kill Bruna. Or have another one of those trample thingies, one of those. Or grotesque mutation actually could be in play. <clears throat> We're not blocking with Bruno, that's for dang sure. We're just gonna block that Blood Hall Priest. It has to be grotesque mutation. Or the thing to be afraid of, at least. I don't think they're roping. I think they are think thinking through their lines. I say they're not. They're not dead. They just they need to gain some life. They have a lightning axe, okay. So now they're gonna go empty handed with the blood seeker. So that when they attack with blood hall priest. He kills that. So they can't discard any more cards. And we just win in the air. They can't discard any more cards. Let's see, that's 12 damage. I take it. I can't believe they killed Bruno. That's wild. That's fine. So they could have they could have returned the sanitarium skeleton to their hand to get two more points of damage. Wow, that was close. Mana's decks are fun. Like, they did a lot on four mana. Especially they were stuck too. Neat. Gimme. Ooh, cool, thanks. Pah, game three. Dog still with me? Oh, dog left. Not on the floor? Nope. Gone forever. Oh. Huh. This hand needs a planes terribly. I think this is a mulligan. That's this is a much better hand. Okay. Um Let's put the puncturing light back. Plan to curve out. Blue white. Okay, that means they're gonna have. That means this guy might actually get to block. Oh. 
Interesting. Interesting. Oh, they're going hard. Okay. Drag under Nahiri's Wrath, Galvanic Bombardment. Also, what else? Planes and another thing in the ice? What? Okay. So. So you just attack them. And we're going to eat. The drag under, I hope, is what they're going to go for. If they want Galvanic Bombardment, the Haunter, I think I'm okay with that. We don't beat that. We just need to draw Bound. Okay. That's fine. In this case, then, we'll play both of our stuff things out. Because it just bounces them just. Okay. They have a docent, too. Their deck is really good. So it is when you cast. So we can't really stop that. So we're just going to go like this. And really, we're trying to race this thing, but we can't because we're not drawing our other white sources. And we have to leave Spell Queller up. Although that doesn't do anything now that I think about it. Yeah, the, neither of them are horrors. Okay. So this means they don't actually get to draw the card. Which is nice. Alright. Yeah, so now... Spell Queller. There it is. To go... We can't use all of our mana unless we do this. Let's, let's go to attacks first. They don't have anything. Gain some life. Make a chump blocker. All right, we're gonna try and race him. Doom Traveler does a good job. Chumpity chump chump. Bop. Make a guy. Ah, I should have played the Guardian out. Shoot. Wow, okay. So that's 10. It's fling in this? I feel like there is a fling drag under, okay. Do we want to keep them from drawing the card? Probably. It's not doing much blocking anyway. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Bowsers. Bowsers the Bowsers. Alright. Yep, they have. 
cat at all. They had the convolute. I mean, I guess when you're playing that kind of deck, you need that. Poof. That feels bad though. Like their deck was insane. Double thing in the ice, docent and perfection. And then just like multiple drag unders. Versus Piddle Spirits. That's already a mulligan. That is a much better draw. We're gonna get dead weighted turn two or turn three again every time. No. Okay. Maybe. No? Alright. Is there a ins oh, I wonder if tragic slip is on the uh Oh. Okay. Cool, I guess. I bet Tragic Slip is on the, the bonus sheet, though. Block. So they can kill the guardian in response so we don't gain any life. To like sack the neonate. Oh. Whoa, they sacked a land? The Madness deck be insane. We have not changed our... Uh, changed our lands out. Wolf. I guess we should have should have known better because we know Doom Traveler is the only the only one drop left in the deck because Essence Flux is on the bottom. got something. They have the rush of adrenaline or whatever the heck. That seems... I mean, it's not, again, not great for us, but... Whoa. Okay. Now their neonate cannot attack. The inviting rain murders us. Maybe that's why they wanted to get the the geist off the board so badly.
options for days. Interesting, they have the they have the uh, unhinged swamp, but not the the mountain. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, that's pretty good. So they miss on the discard. That's pretty good. Now they get an attack again. Well, off of the trade. That blood mat's never going to get to attack. If we know they have discard, we're one land off of playing uh, Bruno, and we need lands to be able to keep Sigardian up. Okay, Desperation draw. They had the land. So they've actually seen a fair number of lands. Um, they just haven't really had the opportunity to play them. So they've seen seven lands. Macabre Waltz, okay. So now they get to discard that guy and play him again, sure. Yep. Tap that down, lets everybody else attack. That was a good draw. Fighting Rain is just heinously bad. I mean, I guess it leaves us with a Doom Traveler token. Bloop. That's also pretty good for us, too. It lets us keep the selfless spirit around forever if we need to. I have the greeting. Okay. Where's that going? On to the spirit. Sure. Okay. But we can save the spirit itself from removal, which is always nice. Okay. Okay. Now we can hold the land. Actually, we get to do this. Bounce the spirit. Play the spirit. Shields down on the spirit because I'm dumb, but blocks or becomes blocked. Okay. So we will tap that thing. If they want to attack, we can trade. blocks or becomes blocked. Sure. That clears a blocker because they have to attack with the gorgers. Got there. Back 
the silver. All right, two and two, I think. Yep, two losses, two wins. Can we go positive? Maybe. Okay, I like this start. I feel like I'm gonna run the Haunter out before the Lone Rider. Okay, that changed my mind. Again, another black deck. Yeah, we're definitely gonna run the Haunter out. See if they wanna kill that first. The upside though. Man. No, gotta go for all. Gotta go for the upside plays. They're going to race us. That's actually kind of good. Uh, no blocks. Because this lets us get, get him flipped. And makes him a lot harder to kill. They need, um, they need alchemist greeting to kill him now. We can actually play Tattered Haunter to block the Bloodsworn. I mean, they could... Yeah, Alchemist Greeting is common. They could very easily have it. It's just... They have a Lightning Axe. Okay. That too. Okay. That's pretty good for us. Is it though? Let's just play that. That blocks. If we can get the Blood Sworn out of here, then I'm much more interested in drag dragging under the Dragoon. I'll trade for the Dragoon too if they offer it. Any number of combat tricks this could be, but that's that's absolutely fine. What do you have? We'd like a Doom Travel would be really good. What is this? Weirded Vampire. Okay. Actually, that's a pretty good thing. Now they don't get to attack with it. Yeah. Shame. We get to go Spirit Priest next turn, though. Spirit blocks the Dragoon. Oof. That's not good for us. Okay, land. Land? Nice. They've got a macabre waltz. Oops. Blocking. Yep. They have a blood mad. Okay. That 
that was pretty good. Hold. They need the discard pre combat to get the dragoon in the air. Yep. Ooh, offering me the trade on the dragoon. Okay. And then not playing the weirded. Interesting. That makes me scared. It's just the macabre walls. Okay. This that blocks the weirded. That we're just desperately trying to stabilize against them. What is happening behind me? Okay. Um. This way, again, these guys do a better job of keeping these idiots back, and we can try to find, like, we can do Spectral Shepherd block bounce on, uh, on the token if we need to. Yep. Accomplice, okay. Okay. I do want to search for a legendary card. Okay, hold. <laughs> First strike is pretty good here. Count my lands. Oh, we shuffled, right? So we have six lands, we're almost halfway through our deck, so we should be pretty favored to draw a land here. We're dead to many things. Got a dead weight, okay. Give it haste. This puts us to one. Yeah. So we have to go like this, like this. Okay. Play the spirit. Make a spirit. And that a fiery temper kills us at this point. Um, we have not seen one from them, but They're going to want to try and kill the Shepherd so that we have to trade. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now we get to start attacking.
So we can block, we can bounce the shepherd if we need to, although we don't really want to. Now that we have the Haunter, I can leave the Lancers back if I need to. Okay, they're going to sit. There it is. Okay, that's lethal in the air. You gotta kill us this turn. Fighting rain doesn't do it. A fiery temper does it. Um, any one burn spell doesn't do it. Seismic cavern. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, we're not dead. Let's go like this. Oh, she has trample. So we do this and this. We have to soak all that up. And we go Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. I should have double I should I had to put the Yeah, I had to put the lone rider on the ghoul caller's accomplice. Dang. I messed up. We would have been at one, and we would have won. God dang it! Dang it! That one's on me, and that hurts the most. That hurts the most. I just should have looked it over one more time. I wasn't thinking about the accomplice. That sucks. Ha. Huh. All right, well. That'll do it. Um... They got us. <laughs> or I got us. Till next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.